What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to have a fragrance review from the house of Tom Ford and this one is Tom Ford's Ombre Leather Eau de Parfum. This is the 2018 release and checkmate, I know you've been wanting it. So here you go my guy. This is such a great fragrance. Thank you so much for recommending me this fragrance. So let's go ahead and get into this. Let me read the notes off. Let me read a little bit more about the house and uh, we'll get right into the review guys. Okay. Tom Ford's Ombre Leather Eau de Parfum is a Eau de Parfum concentration. It's classified as a leather fragrance for men and for women. The top notes are cardamom, the mid notes are leather and jasmine sambac, and the base notes are amber, moss, and patchouli. So let's uh, go over this box real quick. It won't take that long, guys. Look, a box is plain. It's nothing special, okay? It's cardboard box. I was honestly expecting a little bit more from Tom Ford on the bottom here. It's just some information on the back top. It says Tom Ford. Nothing special, guys. Um, but let's take a look at the, this bottle real quick. So nice black bottle. It's got some kind of leather for the, um, some fake leather, of course, I'm assuming, for the label and on the top of the cap says Tom Ford. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see that. And then on the bottom of the bottle there, there is some fragrance information and the batch code is D81. This is a 50 ml or 1.7 fluid ounce guys. And I actually got this bottle off of the Sephora Cologne Holiday Sampler set for $72, which is a outstanding deal. This thing retails for the 50 ml for about 140 to $150 USD. So if you still want a bottle of this, you need to take advantage of that deal. I'll probably have the link down in, my, in the description down below so you guys can take advantage of that. So let's start off with this fragrance, guys. Uh, let me tell you guys straight up right now, this fragrance is, it really is that good. Um, I don't like to hype stuff up, but it really is that good. If you're looking for a leather forward fragrance that is mass appealing, that will get you compliments. I mean, this guy right here is no slouch. All right, so uh, my scent of the day is uh, Ojuan by Parfums de Marley, but I'm going to go ahead and spray this on my right hand. And uh, we're going to get into it, guys. Okay. And let me just waste the spray for you guys. Let me show you guys the atomizer. So sprays out a pretty, pretty good amount of juice. Okay, and guys, right up in the opening, you're gonna get this rumble tumble brash, just straight up leather. Okay, it smells like a very expensive car leather interior. It's just really nice, really really nice, guys. It's a little bit animalic. It's just a tad bit animalic, guys. Uh, it, 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 I wouldn't necessarily say it's skanky, but for everybody who doesn't, who is not used to that leather or used to a leather fragrance, you might find this a little bit overwhelming. It is very loud. Uh, that leather note is very, very loud in the very beginning, guys. I mean, it's, it's strong, but it smells super, super luxurious. Super, super luxurious. It is very, 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 very nice, okay? Um, and all of those notes that I had just listed off, guys, the main two players in this fragrance are going to be leather and jasmine some black, okay? And if you hear some squawking, guys, or some geese, they just flew over my head. Uh, this is such a beautiful day. The geese are out. They're, they're, they're ready to play, or maybe they're migrating. I have no idea. All right, guys, but look, leather and jasmine some black. That's what you're going to get. So it's going to open up with this nice car leather. It's going to slowly start to dry down you're going to start getting a you're just going to start getting that jasmine now it's not it's not too floral okay so for everybody out there who really doesn't like florals out there it, this is not a floral jasmine uh, it is kind of just slightly but what the jasmine does in this fragrance in my opinion is it adds the sweetness to this fragrance okay and you're going to have this rough just luxurious car leather almost like a new car smell coupled with this sweet jasmine 
And as this fragrance transitions and as it dries down, it's gonna get a little sweeter and it's gonna get a little sweeter and it's gonna get a little sweeter, guys. And to the point where I feel like it's a 50-50, so you're gonna have leather and then you're also gonna have Jasmine some Bach and they're both gonna be just the just two main players in this fragrance. Uh, it does get sweeter as it dries down. So that is kind of one of my little nitpicky things, guys, with this fragrance is uh, it almost gets a little bit too sweet for me uh, as way, way into the dry down, guys. I'm talking four or five hours into it. It does get pretty sweet, but it's not, sick, it's not sickly sweet. It's not cloying sweet. It's just a floral sweetness, okay? Um, and I'm really not even a floral sweetness. I mean, it's just a sweetness. But that, that leather note in this fragrance, guys, is uh, it, it does stick around throughout the whole entire life of the fragrance. So it's not like some leather fragrances where it's, uh, it's leather right there in the beginning and then it kind of just goes away after a while. It's not like that with this fragrance, guys. The leather note is still prominent throughout the whole life of the fragrance. So let's talk about longevity projection. Siage, when and where, is it masculine, is it feminine, or is it unisex? Um, guys, longevity on this thing is spectacular spectacular all right i normally with this fragrance guys i've been doing five six sprays it lasts me all day long i kid you not uh it it lasts me a whole day at work plus some plus maybe three hours so i'm gonna say 10 hours guys with this fragrance easy okay now it's not gonna be as loud it's not gonna be as strong as when you have first sprayed it on but it's gonna still be there uh, if the wind is blowing, you're going to get whiffs of it all day long. This thing has a great, amazing, super, super great smelling sillage. And well, coupled with that sillage, your scent bubble. Man, this thing pushes. This thing pushes. First spray it on, guys. It's going to push four, five, six feet. Uh, I mean, it really is that strong. It's not a beast by any means but people are gonna smell you, they're gonna compliment you. And that's another point I wanna make about this fragrance. This fragrance gets you compliments. I kid you not, I wore this yesterday as my scent of the day. I went to work and people were just, dude, what you got on? I was like, man, it's that Tom Ford ombre leather, the auto parfum. They're like, that smells good. Where can I get that? And I told them about that Sephora deal because I always try to get everybody, I always try to, get people on the best deals that they can find. I was like, you can pick this up for 72 bucks. My mom loves this fragrance. Uh, the first time I wore this fragrance on my skin, I, she, she, she just couldn't get enough of it. She said, I, I'm gonna have to get that. That's what she told me, okay? I'm gonna have to get that for your father. Guys, <laughs> you want compliments? This thing gonna get you some compliments, if that's what you're looking for. But it also just smells really good. It is a designer, and it is quite linear. It changes very slightly. Like I, like if you guys couldn't pick that up when I was describing how this fragrance smells, you're gonna get leather, you're gonna get jasmine, and that's pretty much it. You kind of pick up on amber, you kind of pick up on a little bit of that moss, uh, but that's it, guys. Uh, is this masculine? Is this feminine? I wanna say it's masculine in the beginning for the first maybe two, three hours of this fragrance's life, it is very masculine, it is very leathery, it is very, it's just very brash and, 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 and just right there in your face. And it, and it does smell very masculine in the beginning, but as it dries down, once you get to that fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth hour mark, I truly believe it is very unisex because of that jasmine, some Bach in there, where it adds that sweetness. And uh, so for some people, it might be a little bit too sweet. Like for me, it gets just maybe a little bit too sweet, but that's okay. Um, that's like, a, like I said, that's my only knock of this fragrance. It just gets a little bit too sweet in my opinion. For you, it might be different. But uh, I absolutely love this fragrance, guys. Uh, I cannot recommend it enough to people, especially if you're just getting into a leather fragrance or you're not really used to a leather note in a fragrance. This is a very, very safe 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 super safe way to go um and right now as of 2022 and uh, october what is it today october 20th 
uh, you can get it for like $72. But um, look guys, Checkmate, I appreciate you brother. Uh, I hope you are doing well. Thank you so much for recommending me this, uh, this fragrance. Um, I absolutely fell in love with it. Uh, I, I can't give it enough praise. I mean, especially at the price you can get it for now. I mean, it's a steal. For a really, really great leather-based fragrance, as a, it's just, it, it doesn't get any better than this, guys. Okay. Now, it does smell a little, it smells similar to Tuscan leather. Guys, it's like Tuscan leather's little brother. But uh, if you like a more animalic, just more bold leather, go with that one. If you want a sweeter leather, go with ombre leather. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching the channel. Thank you so much for watching Locksense. I got some more good, cool content coming for everybody. And uh, I hope to see you guys in my next video. If you like this video please leave a like and comment and i'll catch you next time thank you so much for watching locksense i'm your host dr goo i'll catch you later see ya